15 minutes after 7 o'clock right now. Time to check what is trending online. I'm going to guess maybe some music awards, Ryan. I know that was the big thing last night. There were. You know, I was going to wait to sort of break those down uh, possibly tomorrow. But we do have a music story for you. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has welcomed a few new members to its hallowed halls. Ringo Starr, Paul Butterfield, Bill Withers, all of Green Day, and Joan Jett and the Blackhearts are now all members. They celebrated at Cleveland's Public Hall Saturday night. Plenty of music industry A-listers were also there for that party, including Paul McCartney, fellow Beatle, of course, Stevie Wonder, John Mayer, and Miley Cyrus. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame not only celebrated rock and roll legends, it also celebrated its 30th anniversary. Now, lots of people think the internet is just sort of anarchy, but, you know, in a way, it's sort of a democracy. People, people demand things, and usually they get them. Case in point, just 24 hours after a cell phone video of the trailer for Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice leaked, Warner Brothers gave in and released an official version of the trailer. You're seeing it here. Now, it was originally planned to be unveiled during a 15-minute IMAX event today. Now, it still will. Director Zack Snyder tweeting that the IMAX version is actually going to have more than this version, obviously, because this is only about two minutes long. You can see all of Zack Snyder's Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice when it hits theaters March 25th, 2016. Now, last up, Target premiered a very special line of clothes and accessories this weekend. The line all Southern Bells love, Lily Pulitzer, <laughs> is now available at Target for less... And y'all, people went crazy. Just look at this. BuzzFeed collected these. Following the hashtag, hashtag Lily for Pulitzer, lines out the door, empty, ransacked shelves. It was just insanity. The uh, craziness even shutting down the website. Look at that. The shelves just empty. If you go to the next one, uh, Twitter, um, Target tweeted out, due to the overwhelming excitement for the collection, we are making adjustments to our website. Stay tuned for details. Now, some people even went in, bought up a bunch of them, and then went and sold them on eBay. This is a picture of one lady tweeted out, someone just selling them for exorbitant prices. She said, you know, the point of them being up at Target is that they are now on sale for less, and putting them on eBay defeats the purpose of that. Now, I wanted to call our Target this morning and ask if they had any left, but they were closed. So I do suggest you ring them up before you head out so you won't be disappointed. And that's a look at what's trending this morning. Caroline in the morning, we'll be right back.